information being used for this video is taken from the Food Safety and Inspection Service website. The information being used in this video is for information and educational purposes. Copyright Disclaimer Under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, teaching, education, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permit by the copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips, the balance in favor of fair use. A copy of, the sec of Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976 shall be attached to this video. Good morning, everybody. Today is Monday, March 6th. Looking at the date. It is 7.36 in the morning. Um, I'll be in to work a little late today. I had to take my mom back and forth to dialysis because she wasn't feeling well. She could have drove, but her car's in the shop and just made life a lot more easier. This is another recall video. My last one was February 22nd. So we have two recalls, one from February 23rd and one from <clears throat> this Saturday, March 4th. So let's get into it. Let's see here. Okay. Okay. This is issuing a public health alert due to concerns that fully cooked, ready to eat pasta sauce labeled as pizza sauce. <clears throat> pizza sauce contains anchovies and milk, known allergens, as well as ground beef and sulfites, which are not declared on the product label. Uh, it says the name of the company is Heritage Specialty Foods, LLC. A recall was not requested because the products are no longer available for purchase. <clears throat> Fully cooked ready to eat pasta sauce labeled as pizza sauce were produced on January 23rd, 20, 25th, excuse me, 2023. The following products um, subject to the public health alert are a 16 ounce tube containing new seasons, bright and flavorful home style pizza sauce with slow simmered plum tomatoes with a best if used by date of March 26th. 2023. Let's look at the label, shall we? Here it is. New Seasons Bright and Flavorful Homestyle Pizza Sauce. This is what the label looks like, the first part. 16 ounces, keep refrigerated. And this is what the back of the label looks like. Okay. New Seasons Market, March 26, 2023, and that is upside down. Let's see, and that's it. <clears throat> okay, let's get back to it. The product subject to the public health alert does not bear a USDA establishment number or, or mark of inspection. These items were shipped to retail locations in the states of Oregon and Washington. <clears throat> now Washington, D.C., the state of Washington. The problem was discovered after the firm received a consumer complaint that meat was in the pizza sauce and notified FSIS. If, you don't, if you're new to my channel and you don't know what FSIS is, it is the Food Safety and Inspection Service Department, USDA. The establishment determined that employees labeled a limited number of uh, Bolognese pasta sauce packages as homestyle pizza sauce. There have been no, <clears throat> no confirmed reports of adverse reactions due to consumption of these products. Anyone concerned about an Ill illness or injury should contact a health care provider. Um, of course, FSIS is concerned that some product may be in consumers' refrigerators. Consumers who have purchased these products are urged not to consume them. These products should be thrown away or returned to the place of purchase. 
So the company contact information is as a follows. Executive Vice President, Founder of Heritage Specialty Foods, LLC, Lana Slazak, 503-252-1545. And over here, the media contact information, <clears throat> Congressional and Public Affairs, Mitch Adams, 202-720-9113, FSIS Press at USDA.gov. Okay, another one to go. Okay. GH Foods Northwest LLC, a Clackamas, I think that's pronounced, Oregon establishment, Clackamas, C L A C K A M A S, Oregon establishment. <clears throat> is recalling approximately 106 pounds of ready-to-eat salad with chicken products due to misbranding and undeclared allergens. The, okay. The product contains wheat, a known allergen which is not declared on the product label. The ready-to-eat lemon chicken and arugula salad products were produced on February 28th, 2023. The products are labeled with the correct top label, but an incorrect bottom label. <clears throat> the incorrect bottom label contains the ingredient statement for a broccoli slaw and kale salad with white chicken meat product, which does not contain wheat. The following products are subject to recall. 9.2 ounce plastic clamshell packages containing Trader Joe's lemon chicken and arugula salad with Best Buy date of 3 excuse me, March 6, 2023, and lot code number GHNW059-06. So let's go ahead and look at the label. Looks good to me. <clears throat> this is the top label, okay? Lemon chicken and arugula. But the bottom label is incorrect. The bottom label looks like this. Broccoli slaw, see that? Broccoli slaw and kale salad with white chicken meat. Okay, let's get back to the rest of the recall. <clears throat> Excuse me. The product subject to recall bears establishment number P dash, that's P as in Paul, dash 46987 inside the USDA mark of inspection. These items were shipped to Trader Joe's locations in the states of Idaho, Oregon, and the state of Washington, not Washington, D.C. The problem was discovered when the producing establishment notified FSIS that the product had the incorrect ingredient statement label on the bottom of the package. There have been no confirmed reports of adverse reactions due to consumption of these products. Anyone concerned about an injury or illness should contact a health care provider. Of course, FSIS is concerned that some product may be in consumers' refrigerators. Consumers who have purchased these products are urged not to consume them. These products should be thrown away and returned to the place of purchase. FSIS routinely conducts recall effectiveness checks to verify recalling firms notify their customers of the recall and the steps are taken to make certain that the product is no longer available to consumers. So let me give you the company's um, media contact information. They have two. This is different. Let me show you. <clears throat> the first one, GH Foods Northwest LLC, consumer telephone number 888-449-9388. And the next one is GH Foods Northwest LLC, Angie, is that Boozerand, Director of Communications, 281-610-1441. <clears throat> Her email address is angie.boozerand at calavo, I think that's calavo.com. And let's go ahead and look at the media contact information. Congressional and Public Affairs, Meredith Carruthers, 202 720 9113 FSIS Press at USDA.com.
<clears throat> that is it for the recalls. I thought we had more, but when I went back and looked at the video, I saw that I did one on February 22nd. Um, and the, rec the next recall didn't come out to February 23rd. So that is it for the recalls. I hope to <clears throat> getting over this cough so I can start bringing them to you um, a lot more sooner than taking so long like I've been doing. I apologize. Um, I did just order me some more Sugarloaf pineapples. Lead Farmer got me hooked on the Sugarloaf pineapple. So hopefully when I get, as soon as I get those, I can cut them up and show you guys, um, show me, videotape me um, canning canning those pineapples because I love those pineapples and keeping the tops I keep the tops of the pineapples because I'm trying to get them rooted and grow my own pineapples um, out here so that is it if you want more information on the recalls you can go to usdafsis.gov or you can wait for my latest video um, if these two recalls concern you please feel free to like and subscribe I'll be um bringing you more videos and also go ahead and rewind the video to see if there's something you you miss when I was doing the recall. Okay, so that is it for today. I hope you all have a blessed day and please eat safely. Sometimes it's better to grow your own. Have a good day. Bye.